Remote connections are not allowed by default on MariaDB and MySQL servers. For instance, I have a MariaDB server set up on a remote VPS machine. Now if I try to connect to it with the MySQL command along with the host option that is dash h option, I will be unable to connect. The response is an error. Cannot connect to the remote server. So let me SSH into the VPS machine and see how you can enable remote connections. With that being said, in most cases, you should not allow remote MySQL connections. Only the same server that is localhost should be allowed. Otherwise, it will be bad for security because if the password breaks, anyone will be able to get into your database. But for some reason, if you want to allow remote connections to your MariaDB server, then that's what this video is for. In order to enable remote connections, you need to do two things. First, create a new MariaDB user with a wildcard host. Usually the host will be localhost. Second, on a network level, modify the bind address IP address from the loopback IP address to a wildcard IP address. This will be modified in the MySQL configuration file. So first, let's log into the MariaDB prompt and create a new user. Running the show databases command gives a list of all the existing databases. And this is the database to which I am going to give remote access my site. Let's take a look at the existing privileges by running the command select db user host. We can check the insert privileges insert underscore priv from mysql.db. This gives a list of all the users who can insert into the database my site. That means who all can edit the database. Currently there is only one user Abhinav at localhost. Since the user's hostname is localhost, that user can only be accessed from localhost that is from within the server machine. So we need to create another user with a wildcard host name. For that run the command create user username is Abhinav at wildcard which is denoted by the percentage sign identified by password. Okay the user is now created. The wildcard hostname ensures that the user can be accessed from any machine provided you enter the correct password. Next we need to grant all privileges to this user upon the database my site. For that the command is grant all privileges on my site dot star that means all tables to user abino at host wildcard. Now if we recheck the privileges you can see that there are two users that has access to the database. Abhinav at localhost and Abhinav at wildcard host. Flash privileges to make sure the changes take effect. Exit from the MariaDB console. But still if I try to connect from the desktop machine, the connection will be refused. So we need to open it from the socket level as well. You can use a tool like netstat to view the list of listening sockets. Here I am going to install netstat which is part of the net tools package. However, as far as I understand, NetTools is now quite old. So alternatively, you can also use the ss command, which will be available by default on most systems. Anyway, here I am installing NetTools. Now if I run the command netstat with the flags dash t u l n, you can view the list of listening sockets. A socket is a combination of an IP address and a port number. And here is the MariaDB socket, which is a TCP socket. It's the loopback IP address on port 3306. 3306 is the default MariaDB port. And currently it only listens to connections coming from 127.0.0.1, which is the loopback IP address. In order to make it listen to all connections, we need to change that IP address to four zeros. Here you can see that the SSH port 22 has not mentioned any specific IP addresses. So it can listen to connections from anywhere. In order to change the port, we need to edit the MariaDB configuration file. It's usually located in the etc slash mysql directory. This file my.cnf is the default MariaDB configuration file. Let's open it in the nano editor. Here we need to find a line that starts with bind address. Maybe it's mentioned somewhere within these directories. 
let's use the find command to search within the directory for the phrase bind address find hc slash mysql and the file name looks like star.cnf then pass it to the grep command which is the search command grep dash i search for the phrase bind address curly brackets then end the command with a plus sign this gives us the matching file name and the matching line there are two files with the string bind address the first one is commented out the second file is the one we are looking for bind address is set to 127.0.0.1 that's what we want to change so next I am going to open this file in the editor let me copy the file path nano paste the file path scrolling down and here is the bind address setting replace that with four zeros now save the file and exit once the configuration is modified you need to restart the MariaDB server systemctl restart MariaDB so that the changes take effect you may also want to check the status yeah it's active and running so everything is set if you run the netstat command again netstat dash tuln you can see that the MariaDB socket IP address has changed. The local address is showing up as four zeros, which means all IP addresses. Let me open another terminal tab in the desktop machine. Now let me try to connect to the remote machine. MySQL dash H host. That is the IP address of the remote machine. In case you have forgotten the IP address, you can find it by sending a curl request to ifconfig.me. Here is the remote machine's IP address. Copying it from here and then pasting it in the desktop terminal dash h IP address dash u username abhinav dash p password database name my site. Press enter and it asks for the password. Enter the password of the newly created user with the wildcard hostname. And here I am connected to MariaDB remotely from my desktop machine. To get the currently logged in user's details, you can run the command select user function. It gives you the username of the currently logged in user along with the IP address from which the user has logged in. And in the MariaDB prompt, you can see that the database my site is already selected. Because I had mentioned the name of the database while connecting with the mysql command also if i run the show databases command it displays the list of databases my site and information schema other databases like mysql are not shown because this user has no privileges to access them i had grant privileges only to the database my site so if i run show tables it displays the tables in my site okay that's all for this video I hope you learned something new today. Thanks for watching.